This video was brought to you by Gamersgate.com. Download games anytime, anywhere. Skip it up and that up. Uh oh, here comes the current generation hate now that the next generation is confirmed. Even though this time last year, the same gaming websites were saying that current generation consoles can still do plenty. You remember those days? I mean, developers were crying that the current generation was outdated, but websites were like, oh no, they're still fine, they're still fine, because Sony and Microsoft are telling us to tell you that they're fine. Well, those days are done. They need to make it like the current generation sucks, and that you need to go out and buy next generation. What am I talking about? Let's get into it. So Cinema Blend got their hands on 22 minutes of Xbox 360 Grand Theft Auto gameplay footage, and they did an article commenting on it. They said the presentation looks awesome, the melee combat looks good, it, the gameplay looks nice and smooth and enjoyable. They like the fact that in this game you get right into the action almost right away, so on and so forth. They said presentation wise the game kicks ass but then they got into how the graphics on the xbox 360 were hurting a little bit they talked about texture pop in the depth of field like you would see trees pop in the shadows looked crappy so on and so forth they they're he's saying you could see that the current generation consoles are hurting to keep up with this game now i saw the same footage that cinema blend saw and I don't know what the hell they're smoking, okay? And this is coming from a guy who people consider, even though I don't consider myself this, a PC elitist. I was actually, I, I, I had a glasses half full perspective with that footage, man. I was like, damn, the Xbox 360, a soon-to-be eight-year-old console, is pumping out these visuals with an open-world game? I mean, there was like a chase scene in the beginning. Maybe you guys did see the footage before it got taken down. There was a chase scene in the beginning where they're running through the snow and there's like particles and there's like snow flying through the air. You see the reflection of the sun off the snow and I'm like, damn, that's on the Xbox 360. That looks pretty damn good. And then right after that, they got into a shootout with the cops and that looked exciting. And I was like, wow, I wasn't really excited for GTA 5, but I'm impressed with how it's looking on this dated hardware. I, I was actually impressed that they were able to get that level of visual fidelity out of consoles that are pushing a decade old. I mean, you really think about this generation of consoles. It's impressive what they've been able to do for so long with the hardware. I mean, Back in previous generations, if someone told you that a life cycle of consoles would almost be a decade before the next gen console comes out, I mean, obviously, like the PS3 was out and the PS2 had like six more years to go or five more years to go, they kept supporting the PS2, even though it didn't get as many games. But I mean, the PS3 and Xbox 360 remained the main consoles for seven slash eight years. And look at the games that they're still coming out with, man. I mean, it's impressive that they could do it with the hardware and get around all those limitations. I mean, you got to applaud Sony and Microsoft for the machines that they built that they remained relevant for so long. And it just annoys me seeing articles like this because, like I said, like a year ago, they would have been, before the official announcement of the PS4 and Xbox One, it feels like these same journalism websites would have been like defending the 360 and PS3. It's like, hey, even though they're com supposedly coming out with a new generation, we're impressed with what the current generation consoles could do. And now it's because they're on the PS4 and Xbox One bandwagon, they're ready to just you know pull their pants down and take a dump on the 7th gen consoles. And it's like... Come on, man, give credit. I mean, yeah, okay, if they come out with a PC version of GTA 5, I know it's going to wipe its ass with the console versions, but you got to give credit where credit's due. Stop shitting on the consoles now because you know next gen is coming out. That's kind of ridiculous. And I'm impressed with what I saw. And like I said, I am a quote unquote. PC elitist, and it impressed me. So anyway, what's your take on Cinema Blend shitting all over the console versions of GTA 5? You think it's justified, or are you in my camp and you think they're just doing it now because next gen is right around the corner and they have to kiss next gen's ass because that's the relevant console generation? Anyway, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one.